What's up guys? I like weed a lot and I'm here to review for you guys today The Special Ops Rosen by G-Leaf uh, Rosen, Rosin, Potato, Potato This doesn't come around the uh, medical dispensaries all that often So I was super hyped to try it uh, I got some Tropicana cookies, Rosin uh, Around 420 That was the last time I saw it. This is mid-September So been quite a few months um, if anyone doesn't know what rosin is, it's solventless extracts. It's used, um, you put bud, put it in a bag, fucking a filter bag, push heat on it, it leaches out all the THC, all the terps. So uh, you can dab that. It's kind of like hash, dabable hash, I guess I'd say. That would be the best way, I guess, to describe it. Um, rather than like a live resin or like a butter that was purged with uh, butane or CO2 or any kind of solvent. That's, that's the big thing about the rosin. There's no solvents in it. So I tried some of this last night. It, it was pretty good. It was nice, pretty 50-50 high. Uh, they say it's a hybrid. The uh, terp content on it, 0.48 limonene, 0.2 caro, 0.1 Mersin, 0.1 Pinene, 0.1 Ishumaline. That's basically it. G Leaf gives like real crappy uh, tarp labels, if you can't tell. Oh, what was I going to say? This is um, Alien Rock Candy times biodiesel apparently if special ops is the same as spec ops again i don't know how the pa dispensaries do their bag all right so let's see if you guys get a nice look at that try to focus be easy it's beautiful looking it's so beautiful looking it smells great too oh yeah a little bit of like citrus and like woodsy. Oh no, I'm woodsy out. That's how this shit makes me smell stuff, kind of. Don't touch me, woodsy out. Yeah. All right, guys, I got the Puffco Peak. I'll uh, take a dab. Just let you guys know how I taste it. I really appreciate everyone who uh, watched the last video, gave me a like, a subscribe, or constructive criticism, comments, all that bag. Uh, it was very much appreciated. Y'all are good people. Let's see if I can get this in here. Hope everyone's going to have a great weekend. Uh, I guess I don't know when I'm going to post this, but I'm doing it Saturday morning right here. I'm going to the bachelor party. My brother's getting married in a couple months, so we're going to go kayak around and hike some trails out in some state parks. So. Should be a pretty good time. All right, let me blast this off. You guys can get one of these. These are amazing. Well worth the three hundred bucks. I think that's what they retail for now. Four hundred is kind of expensive. Honestly, three hundred is expensive too. You can get knockoff versions of um, do the same thing. The Carta, the I think the Hyperion by someone. Oh yeah. Like lemon. Lemon and like cedar. I guess, maybe. <coughs> definitely. <coughs> definitely woods, <coughs> woodsy bit. <coughs> I like it. <coughs> yeah, the effects I found from this, it's a, uh, I found it to be truly like, uh, maybe it edged a little indica, but nice relax. Yeah, definitely edged indica, but pretty 50 50. Didn't put me to sleep. I mean, I'm gonna t I'm taking it now in the morning. I'm not gonna, you know, fall asleep and not get to do the bachelor party. 
but uh, it definitely wasn't like how I reviewed the full Nelson. That was like energetic, uplifting. I wouldn't say this is like a, a focused dab you want to take if you go to really like you know take a test or go do something or go exercise or shit like that. But if you're chilling around on the couch playing video games, watching TV, just relaxing, this is probably right up the alley. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys the THC caught that. I want to say it's like 77. No, oh, 78. Right on the nose. Definitely. Uh, it was $80 a gram. I got it from the Healing Center in Monroeville. Um, it comes around so rare. It, honestly, you probably won't even be able to get it by the time I post this video. They told me they only had, I think, 10 grams in stock, which is outrageous, but... I'm thankful I was able to get one. G leaf concentrates usually, uh, they used to be trash to be honest with you if I'm being real. I, I got into the program in January of this year and they were not good then. And they did, then they weren't out. You didn't see them for quite a few months. And then I want to say around the start of summer, uh, maybe like May, they started pumping out June, July, somewhere around there. They started pumping out concentrates again and the quality has been very, very good. Yeah, I guess around May, because they had the, the last Rosin was on 420, and like around that time, things started to look up for them, in my opinion. Yeah, well, hope you guys have a good weekend. I hope this uh, informed you about Rosin, informed you about, uh, gave you the idea if you'd want to pick it up or not. Yeah. So, have a kick-ass weekend, everybody, and uh, I will make a video again soon. Please like, subscribe, do the whole shebang. I love it. <clears throat> Thank you much. Appreciate it.